Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. You may have seen me where I damaged this wheel. Well, I repaired it and I thought I would continue to try and improve this steering wheel. I don't know if I'll use it, but I, I might. I might put it on the truck actually, because the one on the truck's not very good. So I thought it'd be interesting to just see what I can do. So I've just taken this die grinder, which is just like a overgrown Dremel, and I've taken a, one of those little bits like that. Can't, I can't even see it with my naked eye. And I've used that shape of bit to open out the cracks and I can see where I've missed one there, now I'm looking with a better light. So I need to kind of go around again now, now that I've got a better light. Because I'm using the light on my camera. See there's a few cracks there Look, that I haven't addressed. So I can clean these up a bit now. And there's where it's all gone around from the rim. I don't think I've ground that actually, I think that's how it is. I might have ground it, yeah I did ground that one, grind that one. So I might just V these a bit here, but I'll grind these. Then I'll mix up some JB Weld and I'll get ready with some masking tape and I'll fill it in and bind it round with masking tape, the uh, Peter Anderson method. And then I will um, leave it to set and then then sand it all get it back to a decent sort of shape sand it and file it then I'll probably just finish with it with a bit of body filler and then I'll give it a coat of paint <clears throat> I got it back in here in this Swindon's vice and I've applied a lot <laughs> of JB Weld um, it doesn't seem to be drooping too badly, so I'm just going to leave it like it is. I'll put some up there. Uh, I missed a bit there. Might see if I can just scrape a little bit into there. Missed a bit there as well. But I'll have to do like a second round with filler, so I might be able to just fill those ones. It doesn't work like filler. It's gooey and sticky and draggy. This is JB Weld. Okay, anyway, that's how it looks. I'll bring you back when there's more to show. It's early the next day, and I've just been filing this side, which was the side that wasn't so bad. Uh, I haven't done all of it because it's quite tricky, but I've done kind of the easy bit. Um, and it, it's filing okay and I'm, I thought I'll just turn the camera on because I'm just going to have a go at this bit here which is quite extensive to be honest so I thought I'll set the camera up and just you can see here's my dreadnought it's getting a bit clogged up but it is working I'm going to go and unblock it.
I'll have to go there with a file and kind of put grooves in. Bit bit clumsy with this one. I think this, um, I, I might be wrong, and if, if I am wrong, please correct me in a comment. But I think this steering wheel might be some sort of composite substance that Henry Ford was experimenting with. Like, I know he was experimenting with soybeans in this sort of era. So it might be something like that. Oh, that's just... I'm just going to do a close-up on one part. This centre part appears to... There's a colour difference between this part and the rim. I don't know if there's any proper 40 experts out there that would be able to tell but is this material different? Than this material because it looks like it and when you're um, this material when you cut it is slight feels slightly more sort of rubbery than this material so is this like a, a two-part molding where this part was done and then this part was done I don't know but it's interesting to see that join there in the coloration it's interesting isn't it okay right on I'm going to leave it like that for now because to be honest I don't think it looks too bad and the JB Weld has done a good job of really getting down in there and stabilizing the cracks and the eggs the the um, remaining bits of the original rim where, you know in between where the cracks were so that's pretty good to be honest you can see you know you can see that bit there look maybe I'll just flash back to how it looked in that area before So you can see that's quite a bit better, isn't it? Okay, right, a little bit of... I'm not a real sort of restorer for these sorts of things, but I wanted to just try and repair it. The other thing I did with this is I put a tap down the pulling bolt holes there and cleaned those up. So I, I have got a little puller that will go on there. If I'd have done that beforehand, I wouldn't have had to repair that middle part. Righto. I will catch you later. I can't remember where I left off on the video. Hello. But I've been sanding this gently. So, what I think I'll do is I will just locate where I need to just do a little bit more filling. And I'll mix up a little bit of filler instead of um, JB Weld. 
I might just file a couple of cracks out to make them, you know, deep enough to put a bit of filler on and uh, put a bit of filler on but to be honest it's looking pretty good I mean you could you could put that on a car and drive it couldn't you you could drive that exactly like that okay let's mix up a bit of filler then and get you know get a bit done back in a bit I'll put some filler on it's just dry and it's dried quite quick because I went a little bit heavy handed with the hardener it's not particularly cold today so I'm gonna file some of this off and sand some of it off when it when it dries it's getting there already actually kicking quite quickly but um yeah I just kind of went for any of the marks that I'd put in with a file I went around with a file veed some of the marks out and um, just put a little bit of filler in here here all here not worrying about the back too much I think I'm just going to concentrate on the front I found a couple of bits there that I hadn't done I'm gonna to have to go with a file and put these V's back in these grooves but there is like a natural wear on that top edge there because this is the top that's the bottom oh no it's not that's the bottom actually that's the bottom so I'm lying so there is a natural wear there as well. I don't think I've got the patience to file all those grooves back in. But I'll, you know, I'll give it my best shot. So I'll leave it another 10 minutes and then I'll start to either sand or file it. I'll see how I get on. Okay, back in a bit. Hello, it's a lovely day here. It's actually Good Friday, Easter Friday. And, um... It's a lovely day and uh, problem is though of course because it's nice people are out mowing the lawns but so things are a bit noisy but um, I've got to do mine as well look at the state of it it's not much but uh, it needs doing rubbed all this down I've just noticed a rough bit there actually I'll just get that well, I've got my money's worth out of my sandpaper I'm just going to put a coat of grey primer on and um, see how it looks. I've masked these, which wasn't too difficult. So I just put a roll of masking tape round, then I cut round with a razor blade both sides and peeled off the pieces on both sides. So let's um, see what it looks like with some grey primer on it. I see a lot more cracks already. See where I've got to do quite a lot more work along there. I see quite a few bits that need more work. You can't really see them until you put it in the light colour. Okay, not looking too bad. This one started splotching up there. Okay. Let's 
leave it at that then and wait for it to dry. Considering how badly damaged it was, it doesn't look too bad really. It's only fine details. Okay. Um, I'll I've bring you back. Been outside, just have made a mess. And um, I went and bought some of this Holt knifing putty. So that's. I just went and bought that. Um, I was a little bit surprised that Halfords was open because it's Good Friday today. I, I thought they might not be open all day, but they're open. They're up till eight o'clock apparently, normal hours. So. I just nipped round and got that and as the sun's sort of fading now I'll be, just give it another I gave it a coat of that not a coat but you know I stopped any little bits that I could see and um, I've give it a coat of primer I think it still needs quite a bit of work but it's not looking too bad when you cast your mind back to how bad it looked and there's a couple of bits that I've missed in the rubbing down but um, I'll wait till it's dry, I'll leave it now till tomorrow and I'll give it a careful rub down and um, you know hopefully call it good at that. I mean these things are all worn out these grooves but you know that's all part of the wear of the wheel isn't it So it's not looking too bad. I'll bring you back. I've been working on my steering wheel. I didn't do much filming because there's a lot of activity in the gardens today. So there's a lot of noise going on. But I've just come out to show you how it looks. A bit thin there. I put, I've sprayed it with black paint. But I ran out halfway through. But it's a little bit thin there. But to be honest, it's looking surprisingly good. And what I was thinking of doing was, what I'm thinking I might do, is um, I'll give it another coat of black. Try and just get good coverage throughout. Right, then. And then um, what I might do is mask it up and spray these bits here, satin black. And th these will be like gloss black. I don't know why, you know, just for the hell of it really. Okay, I've got some more paint, so I'll uh, I'll put another bit of paint on it. But by and large, it's not looking too bad. I spent a long time um, filling little holes and things, but I'm not I'm not really much of a buddy guy, you know what I mean. And um, other people would get it better than this, but. Um, I'm also not, you know, mixing up decent paints. I'm just using spray cans. So, anyway, it's looking a hell of a lot better than it did. Hello. Okay, I'll Here's bring it back in as well. well. I've left it overnight. I'm going to mask it up and paint these parts here. Now, the thing is, these days, we don't even have newspapers. I haven't even got stuff I can mask it with, so I've been trying to think what I can mask it with. I think I might just use some kitchen towel or something. I'm not sure. Leave it with me. I'm not going to be blasting paint at it, so I don't think I need to worry too much about it, but I just need to cover everything except those bits. What I should have done, in hindsight, is paint, paint it with the satin black, then mask these bits and paint that because that would have been a lot easier anyway I didn't do that so but I will try and okay I've had a go at masking it do it now just some bits of kitchen roll I'm only going to be spraying towards here and here so it should be okay I think
Okay, there we are. A couple of little sort of things, but I'm hoping it might. I don't know if the uh, tape has done that. It'd be annoying if it has. I might need to rub it down and give it another little coat of paint or something on the outside, but it's easy to mask this off now. Well, there you are, there's the finished job. Um, I sort of enjoyed doing this, I'm not a expert body worker, you know, body guy. So uh, that's just a bit of glue got stuck there. Look. Everything's still a bit, you know, not hardened off or anything, so I'm a bit reluctant to go trying to polish it but I think that looks okay that looks all right when you consider what it was like around here and around there and and don't forget I broke this completely in two this piece so yeah that's not looking too bad I think you can see a slight difference between the satin and the uh, gloss yeah I quite like that that looks okay that looks okay pretty good actually pretty good shouldn't you know it's took quite a bit of work to be honest and I can just pick at these little bits with a screwdriver where there's a little bit of masking or a little bit of paint or grey primer show and I can touch it in with a black pen but I think that's okay I think that's okay Okay, there you go. Steering wheel repair and restore. Maybe not restored to new, but restored to good, presentable driver condition. Hope you enjoyed this job, uh, following along, watching me do this job. I've enjoyed doing it. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Okay, as all the YouTubers say, it's not just me, you know. Click subscribe, give us a like, leave a comment, tell us what you're up to. Okay. Take care then. Thank you very much for joining me in the garage, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers then. Bye. I just borrowed this out of the truck. Looks alright. I don't know if this is an original, or... It does say Ford Deluxe. It's rather weathered. I think there were some of these made where they were upside down. Don't know. I think that's the right way up. Anyway, that, that's how it looks with that in. Okay. I'll get, I've given you all the preamble then. So take care and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Here we are at Compton Verney, across the Ornate Bridge, a bit of a lake here, a bit of a lake here, and a bridge there, and we've been over that bridge many times on the road, but we've never been in here before, and there's the house behind that tree, lovely place. Got some strange sort of lady lion dog. 
beast thing. There's a view of the house from this side. The other side's the, the grand view. There's a big boulder in the thing. I don't think it's an erratic one, but there is a big boulder. Okay, we're going out this way. There's the bridge that we were just on. And there's the house. There's the meadow and a village. Yeah, very nice. Compton Verney, well worth a visit.